Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. See, I told you snowboarding would be fun. Definitely, just one problem. I wish we could actually go. Yeah, but these balance boards are pretty cool. I wonder how our bodies know how to keep us in balance. I just heard a question. And balance all comes down to your ears. When most people think of the ear, they think about hearing. But connected to all that hearing apparatus is this area, the semicircular canals. These three canals provide our sense of balance. Some people may think of the canals like a carpenter's level, but that's not accurate. In the level, there's a tube of liquid and an air bubble. When something is level, the bubble's in the middle between these two lines. And when something isn't level, the bubble moves outside the lines. In the case of the semicircular canals, we have tubes that detect acceleration, not level. Look at this ball attached to a string. When I accelerate my hand in one direction, the ball initially lags behind. Then when I decelerate my hand to a stop, the ball keeps traveling. That's more like the way our semicircular canals work. They're filled with fluid and motion sensing organs. When you move your head, the fluid inside the canals lags behind for just a moment like the ball did. The canal sends this information to your brain, which interprets it and sends the information to your muscles to help you keep your balance. So they detect changes in the motion of your head, not the actual level of your head. But when we're in motion is when we most need our sense of balance. Whether we're walking, running, jumping, sliding, crawling, anything, we need to maintain our balance. Our semicircular canals pick up the information of any little deviation in motion, send it to our brain, which in turn send it out to all of our muscles and helps us make little adjustments we may not even notice all to maintain our balance. Even standing is all about little deviations to maintain balance. Unless, of course, we mess with those canals. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. We're gonna test our balance. For this, you'll need a stopwatch, some paper and pencil, yourself, and a partner. By the way, don't do this test if you're prone to motion sickness. We want you to lose your balance, not other things. First, we need to take a baseline. That's when we measure balance normally without doing anything. First, take off your shoes and socks. Then, keeping your arms at your side, lift your leg about six inches off the floor in front of you and hold that position. Have your partner time you. The time stops if you drop your leg, move your arms, or wobble out of position. Repeat it two more times and record your average time. Now we mess with your semicircular canals. Quickly spin around in a circle 10 times to make yourself dizzy. If necessary, have your partner count for you. Immediately after you finish spinning, repeat the balance test. When you spin around like this, your body's in constant acceleration, which can overstimulate your semicircular canals, causing your brain to be unable to properly process your balance. It takes a moment for the fluid in them to calm down enough for you to regain your balance. So your time will be a little shorter than it was before. So what about ballet dancers who can pirouette, that's when they spin around, and they keep going without losing their balance? Well, first off, they practice a lot to help train their bodies and brains for that kind of motion. Also, they use a technique called spotting, where they focus on a fixed point while spinning their bodies. If you want to improve your balance, there are several exercises you can do besides ballet, like Pilates, Tai Chi, and yoga. Or you can just enjoy being dizzy. This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.